You've seen her special version of the national anthem. Now hear other patriotic tunes butchered by your favorite slob, Roseanne Barr, in her new video album. See Roseanne as she scratches her crotch or hawks a big loogie. She spits, she scratches, she belches. The way her singing stinks, you'll swear she's done something worse. But nothing could be worse than Roseanne Sings America. Sings America. It'll leave a lump in your throat, but not for very long. They neglected, they unwanted, they young, and you know, they're available. Hi, I, I'm Woody Allen. <laughs> Just forty dollars a month, you know, the, which is you find you a, a lot less than the cost of your know, one hour of analysis. <clears throat> you, know, you could not only you know, feed one of these these gorgeous, delicious Asian girls, which you, 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 you could also date one. <laughs> you believe me, you know, they, they don't have, they don't have homes, they, you know, they, they don't have clothes, you know, they, they don't even have uh, your breasts yet. <clears throat> but, you know, just, just think of it as an investment for your future, you know. Just, just, just look at the difference you can make. You know, uh, uh, right here, you know, 15 years ago, this girl was just a tiny orphan living in utter squalor. But, you know, just, ooh, just look at her now. Ooh, me so hungry. <laughs> Guess who? Papa Lee! <laughs> yes, dear Papa, you know, just, uh, you know, don't, don't uh, you say anything. <clears throat> uh, you know, I believe it was Sigmund Freud who, uh, who once said that, you know, a girl's first love is her father. But, you know, if I could just interject right here, you know, at this juncture, it was a lot easier at that point to you know, sneak into a seedy motel under an assumed name. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I'm being facetious, you really, you know, even didactic when I say, you know, it's not everyone who's got a wife you know, naive enough to you know, bring one of these nubile young goddesses home with her, you know. But, you know, hey, look what it's done for me. You know, when it comes to women, I've always been a total loser. You know, when I was when I was breastfeeding, I remember my mother. She said to me, "You know, I kind of like to get to know you better." <laughs> but you know, the real beauty of this offer is it's, it's totally tax deductible. <laughs> you know, so please call one three hundred date the children. <laughs> and and you, if if a woman named Mia answers the phone, you just hang up and try after eleven. You know. <laughs> Medication will have kicked in by then. Go connects. Uh, yeah, that's Nix, my little blossom, the, the New York Nix. Date the children when a million dollars in therapy just isn't enough. <laughs> They're malnourished, homeless. Their young lives slowly wasting away. Hello, I'm Sally Struthers. And each year we lose another handful of America's most valuable commodity, child TV stars. Imagine yourself a child on a hit TV series. You reach puberty, your show is canceled, and your parents have spent all of your money. God, the Stench of failure is sickening. You turn into a gun nut, make bad career choices. Drug addiction, attempted murder, even transvestite bashing. All hope is lost. But now, thanks to you, there's hope. For just 75 cents a day, <laughs> the price of a cup of coffee, the Adopt a TV Child Foundation helps get these kids back on track. What happens to your 75 cents? It helps to put your TV child back in the environment he's familiar with so he can cope with his failure. It pays for acting lessons to help prepare for 20-year reunion specials, plus lawyer's fees, talk show transportation, and, of course, 
bail if necessary. <laughs> Most important, it keeps your child comfortable and happy. Hi, I'm Danny Bonaducci. <coughs> I used to be into transvestite prostitutes. Now, with the help of Adopt a TV Child Foundation, I'm into straight prostitutes. You, Danny. With a small donation, you'll be able to watch your TV child grow strong and healthy. Who knows? They may even land another TV series. So what are you waiting for? Send in your 75 cents and adopt a TV child today. Just call one bye 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 has been. Do it now. They're underfed, they're hungry, their life slowly wasting away because they haven't got enough food. Hello, I'm Sally Struthers. For just 50 cents a day, the price of an apple fritter, you can help feed someone who can't afford to feed himself. The meals are free, they're nourishing, and best of all, they're pretty darn tasty. Are you going to finish this? <laughs> Your donation to the Feed the Planet Foundation is totally tax deductible. Just think of it. You're reaching out and you're giving these people hope. And biscuits, I love biscuits. <laughs> Please send your donation today. Just remember, $15 a month, the price of a Grand Slam breakfast and 10 duck bars. <laughs> You can give these people the sustenance that they know so desperately need. Please try to hurry, though. I've been here for six months, and these people just seem to be getting hungrier and hungrier. I can't understand this. Don't you reach out and touch them? Remember, for just $180 a year, the price of a 12 buckets of chicken and a super big gulp Dr. Pepper, you can give these people sustenance. gentlemen, the most controversial female comedian, Andrea Dice Clay. <laughs> yeah, you think that's easy to do when you stack like this? How the f are you doing? <laughs> How do you like my jacket, huh? It's the story of my life. I got more studs than I know what to do with. I'm telling you, guys can't get enough of me. They're always saying, Oh, baby, oh, baby, I love you. I need you. Dice 
Play at the Desert Inn now through July 15th. If she doesn't cut them off, you'll laugh them off. If I'm not Chuck Woolery, why am I sleeping with his wife? <laughs> Let's meet our next couple back to tell us how their date went. She's a controversial comedian who knows what she wants from a guy. Andrea Dice Clay! Hi, Andrea. Yeah, kiss, kiss. Hey, Chuck, I uh, made a little rhyme for you backstage. It goes something mm -hmm. like this. Chuck, Chuck. Buck, banana, fan, okay. Fuck. He considers himself a sensitive guy and a man who treats his date like a lady, even though he's a major movie star. Say hello to Patrick Swayze. Hello, Chuck. I just want to say that I watch your show often and well. I love you, man. Well, that's great, Patrick. Andrea might be a little more receptive to that love, however. What about it, Andrea? Chuck, you know something? I'm not looking for love. You know, just and get the out of my face. See, now it's that very attitude that made our date such a disaster, Chuck. What disaster? I thought it went pretty good. I mean, we both finished. <laughs> Begin, Pat. I wanted to take her dancing. I like to think of myself as a pretty good dancer. Mm -hmm. I was the star of Dirty Dancing. Yeah. You call that dancing? In that case, my dog does plenty of dancing with my couch pillows. Only he's got a. You know what I'm saying? See what I mean, Chuck? She's an animal. Oh, stop mm. your whining and complaining. I'm the one with the carpet burns on for crying out loud. She's got a point there, Pat. Hey, I got two of them, Chucky. I seen you looking. What? Maybe we should turn up the heat in the studio. <laughs> Chuck, I'm into martial arts. I've got an incredible body. Mm -hmm. I'm practically a god with these streaks and tips in my hair. Yeah. But I'm also sensitive. Mm. I only wanted to show Miss Clay the finer points of the city. Oh, come on. I showed you places on your ceiling you ain't ever seen. Oh. Well, it looks like Andrea wanted Patrick to live up to his screen image, while Patrick obviously expected to date within his own species. <laughs> I'm killing myself. Let's see who our audience picked for Andrea. Was it Patrick, Pete Townsend, or Grace Jones? Well, the audience still picked Patrick, so if you two'd like to go out again, we'll pay for it. Sure, what the hell? I'll do honey buns again if he'll cut his hair in a flat top so I got some place to set my drink. You know what I'm saying? Looks like it's up to you, Patrick. Do you want to go out with Andrea again? My mama didn't raise no quitter, Chuck. Well, there you have it. See you next week. In the meantime, may all your dates be major and your carpet burns be minor. <laughs> This month on HBO, she's loud, she's ugly, she wears an overcoat, and she's a screaming success. She's Samantha Kinnison. Yeah, it's great to be here tonight. Guess you can tell it's my anniversary. That's right. I've been married for five years. To a man! Ah! Ah! I try not to be bitter about it, though. I guess I just pictured marriage as being somewhat different, you know? 
I guess I just pictured something other than some lazy slob laying around reading Playboys and drinking Black Label. Morning, honey. Sure wish I could stick around waiting on you having foot <laughs> your <laughs> all day, but one of us has got to earn a living. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I tell you. Maybe next time I'll consider marrying a little higher up on the food chain, like maybe an amoeba or something. <laughs> I'm not bitter, though. I don't love <laughs> man. I have always loved <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I fell in love. I was about 18 years old, you know. I'll never forget it. I was just waiting for the right man to come and sweep me right off my feet. Just sweep me off my feet, not use me like a <laughs> right at Disney World! <laughs> remember the first one. That's right. Wrote a little song about him. He looks something like you, sir, Mr. Smooth, down there in the front row. How you doing? I bet you've been in love, sir. I bet you've taken some young lady under your arm, sir. I bet you told her that you loved her and she believed you. Well, I'd like to sing a song to you right now that I wrote for my honey lamb, and it goes something like this. You <laughs> bastard! You broke my heart! You said you loved me, you lying son of a bitch! You lame ass! I never felt your... I never felt your... You'll gasp, you'll burn in hell! Samantha Kinnison, this month on HBO. Gee, Mom, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah, if I wore a dress once in a while or wore a little makeup, I'm sure I would feel a little more like a lady. Gosh, Mother, you know, feminine advice coming from you means so much to me, considering that you're about as feminine as Rose, Jill! You confess me in a chapter and left me for dead! She bitch from hell! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he's home. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later, my buddy. Honey! Yeah. I'm home. Uh, happy anniversary, pumpkin face! I don't believe it! You remembered even after three months of rehab! Rehab? Hey! Okay, but hurry up, honey, because I've got a gifty boo. Here we go, Sam. Happy anniversary. Uh, isn't that nice? A TV dinner. That's just one. Because, you know, when I was in Betty Ford, I was so whacked out of my mind, I didn't even know what you cooked for me. But here I am, clean and sober, come home, Starving, dying need, and what do you serve me? A goddamn TV dinner! Sandwich Mary came from a dead cow that died six years ago! I want you to take a bag and puke in it and put it in a microwave, you bitch! Anniversary. It's five it. years of living hell! You know what? I'm putting my hand in my pants and I'm looking for your present. Uh oh, you're gonna have to. I found it! I found it! Yeah, I didn't think you got me anything, Sam! Well. Oh, isn't this sweet? Oh. Look, it's birth control pills! Isn't that, isn't that charming? Birth control. I was expecting maybe a necklace or a brace or something. Birth control. You got me birth control. Well, I guess this means that we can have sex more than once a year. <laughs>
we talk? I'm trying to get some sleep in here. Uh, did we wake up our neighbor, Joan Rivers? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're sorry. Were we keeping you up, Joan? Yeah, don't we? We didn't disturb your beauty sleep. We know how desperately you need it, seeing as you look like a baboon. You'll never be proud of the girl on your pond, Lizzie. your sleep, little muffin. Uh, do we interrupt your dream? Because you've been our nightmare, you little bastard! We just fucked you in the first place! You were an accident! You were an accident! You're only here because I was so up, I didn't know where I stuck my <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry if there's a burden on you guys, but first of all, I'm not even sure you're my real dad! As for you, yeah, you're a mother, the mother of all Promise of a thing. Promise, promise of a thing. 